Welcome back to Broken Triad, where... So this, apparently in excellent game design terms, uh, I just unlocked a, a door which I haven't even seen, which I can't even see because the door is somewhere behind here is, is the door that I unlocked with this code. So I have no fucking clue what that's about um, beyond the bare minimum I saw in the walkthrough, but... Why do you give me the code to the palace that's not to the palace door? Before I can get into that, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. Anyway... Apparently also, the other piece of the puzzle I was missing... Um, which, I guess I want to go this way... Leonard's room? Leonard's room sounds right. Unless I'm confusing which ones of these they are, but, you know, either one's actually close enough to where I need to be. This one is exactly where I need to be. Um, I think... Walks through there's something about jumping in the water. Okay. I came in the water, looked to see if there's a passage at the end. There wasn't, because clearly that's not a passage. And hey, I didn't look up, but... There was no reason to suspect, no reason to look up. I didn't, I know you hadn't crouched and looked. I could have seen the other thing, but there's otherwise no, absolutely no reason to suspect it, and looking up is not, well, and normally a thing you do in a tiny narrow passageway. So, this is necessary, this isn't just a secret hidden away, which would be fine if it was a secret hidden away. Oh, I had no idea that this connected there, that's, well, my sense of how this puzzle, how, how this level goes is not clear. And that is way too narrow to be walking on. This is just barely acceptable. One unit. Yeah. Whatever. Level design gripes. And this then... Right. Okay, so we're not jumping across things. Or... Not necessarily jumping across things. We can... I see. We can cross on these beams that are not wood. Why is there a hole there? Oh, that's from the passage we saw. That's where we shot. There's a button under there. That's right. Shut the button. Okay, so this is what gets us up to here. And let's just frog this one. Hello. You just... And that's it. So that's how... Seriously, is this how the priests are supposed to have done this? I don't know, this just feels ridiculous as a... thing that's part of a ritual. As a, and also part of the critical path. Being this hidden away is... Feels quite ridiculous to me. But it's fine, I guess. Um, what's the quickest way back? I mean, I don't remember. I'll just go all the way back here, because I don't remember exactly which way is going to be quickest from there. We need to get up there to push the button, which is out here. Which is out this way. Just down through here. Again, through a uh, collapsed piece of flooring, but that's fine. Now we get a cutscene of it happening anyway. Oh, and more cutscene. Oh, hello! It's this demon man finally arriving. So he rolls all those other souls into an awesome thing. So what does that mean that he's arrived now? I guess I don't want to fall down there, probably. Probably don't want to. Sensor call. Return, your excitement is understandable and not entirely out of place. A funeral is both a time for reflection and rejoicing. Remember, even though Priest Mailu has left us, he is now residing among the stars next to our gods. As for the sensor call, here are the necessary steps. Since you've taken the role of an assistant, you probably won't need to perform all of these by yourself. First, you need a special kind of incense, stored in a container in the lunar court. Normally, you'd have to ask Kiva Nasa and Priest Velan to open the sensor container, which is protected by two star gem locks. 
Put the intent into the center bowl and then light it. Remember that you need the flame of a hallowed candle to accomplish this, as common fire won't work. If the light of your candle has gone out, you have to find one of the sacred fire elementals to relight it. Wait until the incense is emanating smoke. Next, take out the personal item of the deceased person whose spirit you want to call, and hold it over the bowl. The item must be something that used to be very dear to the person who previously owned it. If nothing happens, this either means you've done something wrong, or the spirit you're calling does not like you. If the spirit does indeed appear, keep in mind that it won't be at your command like a slave. It'll try to be of assistance if it can, but don't expect it to linger for long. During the funeral ceremony, the cold spirit will raise the bridge so the procession can continue south into the inner chamber. The near. Alright, well we have the incense. We don't have a candle. Right, I don't think I found a candle at all. I mean, I've got a flare. But you said that might, isn't going to work, right? It's not the, it's not the hallowed. Okay, so where the hell... I mean, I could maybe get Brother Bridgenal to help, because obviously his... He would probably be inclined to help us, right? We call him. But... Where do I get a candle from? Do I really have to go all the way back to the market? I mean, I guess I get back to the market very easily. Getting back to the market is the easy bit now that I can teleport at will to, this, to the Keeper Sanctuary. Uh, but candles? Where do they keep the candles? I haven't seen any candles. Dang it. There was a note somewhere about the fire elemental. They wanted to move from the market. But where was that? I don't remember. It's not one of the ones I was able to pick up, right? No. Well, then there's the other question about the secret passage in the bath. I don't understand that. You need the flame of a hallowed candle. Yeah, but where do they keep the... Um... I don't remember. Something said they kept them somewhere. In the temple, maybe? But... I didn't find any in the temple. You know, getting back to the market is easy enough, and I can go down the well again to get to the uh, thing of me. This thing of me. Um, if I can go back into the temple through, just through there. There's the moonstone I haven't been able to get to, but I don't know how. I guess I can maybe take a look this time when I go through. See if there's uh, something I missed. Well, Mr. Demon hasn't yet interfered with... I rebuild. No, it's not, there's not going to be anywhere up there, is there? I mean, kind of, maybe, sort of. Hmm. Were there candles on here that I missed? What's the way I came in? I mean, there might be in this section, like, storeroom for the temple as well, would make sense. Blah, blah, he's talking about the hammer. Oh, I forgot there was a thing right here into the temple. Didn't have to go via the market at all, but doesn't matter.
Uh, the Moonstone, I can't get in. Right, the Moonstone at the Celestial Gate. <clears throat> Right, let's just talk about this room that's broken. It's on the next floor up, I don't remember. Right, this was the priest's quarters, right? Yeah, he's talking about the, what the hammer was doing. He doesn't have any hallowed candles, or hollowed candles, or any kinds of candles I can see. Unless he hides them up there. Nobody's got any candles up here. So this is not helpful. Check this room already, yeah. I'm the temple proper. Okay, well, there's the that symbol again. What was this note about? Uh yeah, this is the one, right? If one of the palaces Candles goes out, you have to bring some... Oh, are they in the palace? Okay, so how do I get in the palace? Because the code I have didn't open the palace door. So what the hell? I mean, I feel like I've got a Catch-22 situation happening. All the demon man is up here. In a way, that's Cray Man's territory. I can see a scarab from here. But... I don't see anything else. To get there. I mean, that should be the way into a palace, right? Or a way into the palace. Yeah, well, he's not here. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Celestial Gate. Blah, blah. So I need that. The Minstone is. I'm gonna need it to get the to get out. Obviously, um, it's not something needed right now, is it? Well, this demon dude isn't here. All right, there's there's a second lever missing. This one lever didn't do a thing. Come on. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe Demon Dude went into that door, which is, must go somewhere important, even though it looks like it's sealed shut. So how do we get into the palace to get a candle to do the sense of this? is such a fucking series of fetch quests. I am... Like, yeah... The, the initial atmosphere and stuff was great, but it's like... Trapes all the way across this place, then trapes all the way back, then you're gonna lock this door and trapes all the way back, and then... Uh, 
Structurally, it's just too much. It's all going on much too long. And because I've got run out of patience and uh, murdered pretty much everybody, I've left the crane men alone. And I, I plan to keep. I would rather leave the crane men alone, even though I'm kind of bribing them up there. I don't know. I don't know how to do what I need to do, and I definitely want to have to stop every ten minutes and look something up. My objectives are not even useful for me keeping track of what I need to do. Um, <sighs> temple in the palace. I can't get into the palace. And that's just for secret. Not actually part of a thing, even though it seems pretty important, but well, I don't need to go upstairs in the bars again, do I? I think I shall not stand and wait for him. I think I shall right here. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm definitely missing something. Don't know what. But it's, it's such a chain of stuff. None of which makes any sense in and of itself, and only makes sense, I guess, in combination with other things. And what well, is the code to enter the palace then? Had a thought prompted vaguely by things I had scrolled past. Oh, they just go there. That's not good. I thought they went for a walk around the place. They just stand in the doorway and then come back. That's inconvenient. So just sit and wait for him to come back. Uh, what was I thinking? That so I saw this translation, right? I don't know. Maybe he says something about the the name of the last emperor, which I don't remember. Which is in the. I don't have to wait for him. I can go to the market, to the city archives. This way. Um, if I remember which one it is. What's this one? This is... It's the second one I found was the archives, right? This one here. Oh no, that's the temple. This is the market. The market's near the archives. Yeah, flamey boy. Fireman Sam.
Okay, a fire roll hasn't seen it, but you know, fire elementals are a different beast. Fire elementals and craymen, to me, they, they're happy to live here, right? The third gate is the way back, right? So this is the way I'm going to get out of here, right? Vas Beric. Here's my translation. Well, I can't do Vas Beric at all. So that's no use. Kedan Haref? I could do Kedan Haref. Let's try Kedan Haref. First Emperor. Maybe his name was the key to opening the palace. Uh, this way. I guess I can keep these doors open now. Since we don't have I'm and Sam to worry about. What am I, what am I even doing? Um, I guess I am going back this way. I need to go back to the bathhouse. Kedan Haref. Sorry, mate. Didn't mean to alert you there, but your timing was good. I mean, this is the sort of thing I should make as a writer note here, right? Kadan Haref, which is scarab, wheat. Duck. Guy with, uh, not holding his hand to his forehead. Guy with an enormous penis not holding his hand to his forehead. What was it? Scarab? Wheat. Duck. And then guy with an enormous penis not holding his hand to his forehead. Okay, so we... I don't know how I'm supposed to have, like, just come up with that. I, if I hadn't read in the walkthrough that it was important, I wouldn't have uh, realised that. We could have come here ages ago. Why would the Emperor's name be the code to the palace? Everybody knows the Emperor's name. That makes no fucking sense. Oh, sorry, last Emperor dude. Well, now we have another way through there for all the good it does. Oh, I see it toggles the gates. Is that the way we do this one? Here, scarab I got. Here. Which closes the main gate. It should open the other secret one. And we can go in and out this way now. There's no enemies around because it's extremely noisy floors in here. Seems pretty quiet. I don't know, maybe I should have explored here before Demon Dude came back, but maybe it doesn't matter. Candle! Hello, Candle! Hello, Candle! Um. What am I getting stuck on? Am I getting stuck on that banner? I think I am, yeah. Yeah. That's terrible. <laughs> this can't be all areas of the palace. This is just a throne room. Ah, that's, right, that's the secret entrance, I didn't even notice, that's what was opened up by the secret code. 
this passage leads to nothing. Hang on, what's what's what, what's going on here? Not a door. What is going on here? Is this broken? <sighs> that's if that's not broken, then it's the world's worst secret. Is there a way to open this door from inside? No. We do have to go through this ring roll. Let's just change this to something else. I can just hear a distant sliding noise. Right, so that was definitely what it moved, right? That's moved aside, moved back now. Hair, scarab, eye, duck. I could just hear it moving again. First time I did that, you know, I, before I'd been into the palace, I got the found secret notification, which was silly because I had found nothing of the sort. Okay to get a notification once you climb in here, but shouldn't be saying, oh, found secret when there isn't, when you haven't. But then this is nothing. Right, this isn't even a fake door. I'm stuck on something. What am I stuck on? What? That was really weird. I can't move forward. I can't, I can't walk this direction. What's going on here? Am I just like getting stuck on bad geometry or is there some some aspects of a puzzle? I don't know. What the fuck is this tunnel for? Then Let's let's try one last thing. Let's use one of our flares and see if that shows anything. But it's not going. To. It's not that dark in here. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. <sighs> Fuck your secrets. You make them that obscure that you can't even find them. We got the candle, we can go do the sense of nonsense. And get to the next part of this mission. That's been too fetch questy. Actually, we don't need to go this way, right? Uh, we can do this. Not that. Keep a, keep a medallion. That looks almost the same. And I guess we want to come out. Yeah, this one will do. At the last path, this one will do very well.
I'm gonna have to look up what that secret is just to understand why the hell it's just so much nothing, but... Oh, no, we need to go back to the market. And light the damn candle. <laughs> and I just realized something. I just realized something. If you had done this sooner, you would be stymied, as far as I can tell. if I had put the sacred fire on and go out. I should try it, right? Oh, you can't. Okay. Well, let's not waste a wood arrow, even though I don't think I really need them. So what's going to happen? We light the can light a hallowed candle, right? Yay, it's a lit hallowed candle. Oh no, the water extinguished your candle. Oh no, how are we going to solve this puzzle? Well, it's not a puzzle, it's just a gate. <sighs> Too early in the mission, you can't keep the candle lit for no particular reason, even though you won't have anything else you need for it. You have to go through here. That's why I say it's barely a puzzle. Alright, so now we have the candle. We have the... We can go to the sensor and get all my bad words censored. I'm wondering why I've got two lots of incense, honestly, but. And then, hey, Brother Reginald! Who is calling me? It's me, Garrett. Yeah, that's me. Alas, the builder's forge still remains closed to me. Well, help me with this and maybe you can get... I followed the light. Ah. It did not lead me to salvation. That light. Instead, I found myself in this forbidden place amidst the sea of restless souls. Yeah, yeah. Bridge. We are circling this island. Uh huh, bridge did. Yes, yes. See down there? Oh, well enough about me. What is At last. Bridge. Ah, I see thy path is blocked. Let me help thee. Yes, please. I wonder what would happen if I waved Keeper Alice Medallion over it. It wouldn't work, I guess. Oh. Really? Is that the best you can do? Fucking hammers and that platforming. Alright, fine. We have gained access to the inner chamber. Oh. This is where the mage did the summoning first. We saw this in the cutscene. I always saw myself as a worthy disciple of our gods. Now that I realize what a fool I had been, I see no other way but to seal the inner chamber. The hammer's peaceful aura was just a disguise, and as soon as I got into the tomb, the cursed weapon unveiled its regal face. The demonic hammer feeds on the spirits of the dead, and I was foolish enough to bring it right into the center of the sustenance it desires. With each soul it consumes, its strength and influence increase. 
I just pulled the lever and cut off the water. This will seal the inner chamber from the inside and permanently lower the last brass bridge to the north. While I can't prevent the hammer's power from stretching beyond the confinement of these walls, I can at least contain the cursed weapon physically. Head priest Fuquan. Well, fuck you, Fuquan. Jim brought all this on us. That's, uh, I guess where you need to go. Find a hammer. Oh, what? Ah. Oh. Meet up with Keeper Aleph. Yep. I knew he'd be dead. I told you I should use this thing. Well, I guess we can either go swimming or we can do another objective. Three in a row. Use all the Keeper Glyphs. Garrett. As you might have guessed already, the body you found in the last cliff was mine. I had died already before you arrived, and all that is left of me is this mind construct a sanctuary glyph created. As long as I cannot find any rest, the sphere of reality and the glyphs connected to it will continue to exist and allow me to communicate with you. The Warhammer drill work is very close. You have to find a way to destroy it, but remember that you must not touch it. Any direct contact would immediately kill you. I'm sorry I could not be of more help. Honestly, I'm surprised I even made it this far. After all, I'm a librarian, not an adventurer. Farewell. Keep it LF. Find and use all the sanctuary glyphs on the islands. All we gotta do is defeat what's his name and uh, find our way back home. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Warm our hands by the fire. So, wait, does this give us access finally to the center? Oh, we already had access here. Right, so that's just the final message. Although it gives us a way in and out of this place if we need it. Okay. Fair enough. I'll have to do. Let's go swimming. Oh, the water has extinguished my candle, so... I guess I won't be summoning the spirit of, uh, what's his name? Hmm, nice effect. Okay, surely they're supposed to be protecting it or something. I don't know. Well, they're attracting it. Question is, are they hostile to me? What happens if I do this? It just goes right through. Alright, let's not waste stuff then. Do you mind me being here? Ah, okay, I can spend some more of those. Really, just don't touch it? Like, can't I just grab it? It's not instantly ki- It is instantly killing me. Okay, you're right. It's, it's pretty deadly. Let's just explore the rest of this room before we throw in any more. Um, I was always hurrying for steps I could hear. Ah, oh, through the window there. Well, that's a good use for this. Apparently it hurts him. Yeah. 
So it weakens them as well, okay. Oh hey, I can light my candle again. Probably a good idea, right? I don't know why I need it, but... for it then I guess put in the star gems ah I see we need to this is why we have two incense and why we got to light the candle again we need to call keeper Aleph to help us out here I guess No? Yep, hey, how you doing? Oh, this is a bad place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. Oh, hey, you know, that's a tap. Thanks, brother Reginald. That was that was a lot more helpful than I was actually expecting. Oh. 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 Something is going wrong. Keep Alice's final notes. Looks like Strawberry Extra Destruction set off the glyph imbued inside the Keeper Medallion and catapulted both you and the asshole into the Keeper Compound's replica. The sanctuary has become unstable. I removed all the glyphs save one to prevent the asshole from leaving. The last glyph leading out of here is inside my quarters, beneath the floor panel. The switch that opens it is under the desk. As soon as you get out, drop the medallion and cleanse it with a spirit fire arrow. This will cause the sanctuary to collapse and throw anything still inside it into oblivion. Hopefully that will rid this world of the asshole once and for all. Keep her off. Okay. Very cool effect on the walls, by the way. Even though it's just an animated texture. Oh. Quiet guy. No, I don't want to come there. This is a problem. Uh, which way was this quarters? That way? This way, surely. Well, you know, that way, that's the, the switch into the bed, right? That I could escape from him with. Oh, this is the wrong room. What? He didn't follow me? Was that his quarters? Or 
all right. This is not the right room. It's not the switch of this is because it's the library, of course. Oh, he saw me. Dang it! Oh, he can probably chase me in here. No, oh, maybe not. I mean, you'd think he'd know about this place. So that explains the sextant, so just symbols of the mariners that marinate, marinating merchants. I need to wait for him to stop searching. Oh, he's just stuck in the doorway now? Shit, that's not good. Right, try to save loads, see if I get him unstuck. No, it does not. What happens if I hit him with Spirit Fire? I can waste one. Nothing. What if I just shoot him in the back with an arrow? Nothing. No! Go away, leave me alone! Okay, well, this is where I need to be. I need to drop it. No, it's not Brother Reginald's rosary, I need to see. Keep a medallion. Where is the keeping medallion? Alright, bye bye! Alright! Where are we? I don't know, we've got another spirit fight arrow. Oh! This was the room with the moonstone! the room we couldn't enter. Well, that's nice that he blew the door open for us when he died. That's very handy. Okay, so we should be able to get back to the Lost City then with this moonstone, right? Just put it into the elevator. Elevator. The, the big teleporty thing, you know? Uh, which way do I go? Lost. Uh, right, this is the temple proper. Yeah. I mean, I guess this. No, this takes us to the palace. It's the wrong way. So wait for our friend. We can't use the sanctuary to go back around anymore because that's now gone. So hello there, free man. You and the flame elementals have this place now to yourselves. Just don't fight too much, alright? It's unseemly. Oh, 
I don't know about this, whatever secret I'm supposed to understand about from that thing. I'm sure I've missed plenty of secrets other than that one. Like, for example, the impossible one in the palace that is doubly impossible. Just firstly, couldn't reach it. I mean, couldn't... Found the code long before you found the thing that it opened. And then on top of that... It, um, didn't seem to go anywhere? So hang on, how do I, how do I use this moonstone then? I'm sure I could use it from up there somehow, but... What am I missing now? Is there wood here? I can't tell, this looks like stone, this all looks like stone. This platform isn't wood, is it? No. And the edge of this platform isn't void, right? Surely? No. So what the hell? How am I supposed to... Nothing's changed here except... The one lever doesn't work. Place to put the moonstone is inaccessible. So now what? This has not opened to reveal a way to go anywhere. Um. Um, I'm stumped. I think I'm gonna have to look this up. Okay, walkthrough gave me nothing except, oh, there's an elevator, ride it up. Very helpful. Thread gave me nothing. Ended up having to look up, uh, well, it turned out Fen Phoenix was walkthrough. It was just the first one I found when I looked on YouTube, his, his playthrough of it. It's like, this elevator, I mean, this switch here, it clearly it leads to the elevator, right? There's a second, I don't know, it looks like there's a second lever missing, but there's nothing you can do about it. But this one doesn't do anything and then just times out. It's like, what the hell? You know, I've been here, looked up around, looked on the walls for buttons. I don't know, there is a little, there's a lever here, buried in the wall. I didn't see it, for whatever reason, I never had my cursor pointed right at it. Probably because I was, I don't know, looking up or down. It is almost invisible. It just merges in with the walls. The elevator was here, workable all along. And I guess... This just calls it back down? No? Have I just screwed myself? I guess I can do that one. What the hell does this lever do then? Nothing at all? Is it purely for show? Just to confuse people? Clearly leads to this elevator platform mechanism and does nothing at all. Oh, whatever the hell. We don't need it now. One last confusing we made puzzle to confuse. Does this open the thing? Does this activate the thing now? Ah, oh, that activates the thing. Why does it do nothing at all instead of shining a light that failed? It should have shone a light that failed to focus at the moon at the moonstone or something. It should have been a visual difference, but no. All right. Now this time it stays on. Magically. All right. Well, I guess it's time to go home. What? Oh, this is the... This is, of course, is in Karst Inn. This is the, uh... That's where the third gate comes out. Does, they, does the island of Flood and Leapers here? No. Well, who are you? Do you have any valuables? 
One final green skull for us to do. Okay. So the, I saw the edge of the ladder, so I knew it was you meant to be able to get down there. And there's our way out. Right, that was a very embarrassing ending for me, not seeing a lever in front of my face, but uh, it was hard to see, so... And there was another very obvious lever clearly connected to the elevator, but for some reason wasn't working on the elevator. I thought there was one last puzzle to do to activate the elevator, but apparently not. Yeah, I only found, I missed four secrets. Um, I technically I kind of missed the one on the treasury as well. Found 880 loot out of 2010, so there's a lot left. But it doesn't matter, we killed big, big demon dude. Yeah, so. Problem solved. Unfortunately, there's all those people we madly beheaded are uh, still dead. You know, not much to be done about that. Brother Reginald was far more helpful than I uh, than I'd expected. Quite quite handy, actually. Yeah, wouldn't have been able to do it without him. Hope he hope he got to his eternal rest after that. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you'll join me here soon for the next mission. Whatever that turns out to be.